We're holding back down our Sons of Anarchy on our few, and this time it's episode 8 of season 1. And this one is called The Pool, and basically, this episode I think is, yeah, I'd say, I'd go and say, it is the best episode of Sons of Anarchy so far. So we get to see the episode kicks off with uh, Darby receiving a letter from ATF about uh, Sam Crow's gun running. And then, which he proceeds to, he delivers it to, um, well, he has a meet with Alvarez, and he tells him that I'll give you the gun running, which means you, they, like, so it means the, the, the one niners stop getting the guns, which in turn means they can't control the heroin, which in turn then the mines get, and all Darby wants is the drugs they get into charming. But, so he, 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 what he, he tasks Alvarez with killing clay and once he kills clay then kill the rest of sam crow because they'll be running around like headless chickens once darby walks off um alvarez says to his son that we'll uh we'll kill clay and darby so that's basically what kicks off the episode great way then fast up oh shit well who's gonna die this is gonna be an action-packed episode and we also have the issue with the club trying to get the money for the ira this episode so there are about what they're about 70 grand off so they get 55 grand from Luan Otto's old lady his wife the, the porn director the porn star so they get 55 grand for her and there's like a hang between her and Gemma where she wants 20% interest and Gemma's like you greedy whore <laughs> basically so they get it down to 5% interest so they get 55 grand for her which leaves them with 15 grand to go and then um, some truck driver uh, has like an incident in which Jax uh, helps him get out and then he finds drugs in it which then is revealed to belong to Darby and then the guy reveals that the, the Nords are taking the guy's tanker as payment for his drugs so him and Opie track them down, well not, not the guy and Opie, Jax and Opie track, they get the track the tanker down uh, which they sell to um, Unser for 20 grand which pays the remaining debt to the IRA so while this meet is going down um, Clay and Tig go to the meet and we we'll find out the McKeevy's dead so yeah he got beat to death by um, a gang well not a gang by the the doc what's the guy the doc commissioner the doc commissioner the fat man he'll play a not a crucial part like but he's a, a decent sized part in the next few episodes I was to say Earl Hafner but I can't remember what his name is but anyway he has him beat and murdered so it's his cousin, uh, his cousin Cameron Hayes is there. So they give him the money, and while this is going down, the Mayans are planning their attack on killing Clay and uh, Darby. So they show up, they start spraying down. <laughs> Pretty action-packed scene here. They start spraying down on Clay and Tig, but they duck. Cameron Hayes ducks, but he gets shot in the ass when the other guy turns around and Tig pops up, bang, caps one of them, and then the the, the bartender with the bloody double barrel shotgun, bang kills everyone and um, what well, as soon as that ends it flips to them getting into Darby's house they kill uh, one of Darby's like right hand men and then they kill two women while Darby's in the back pouring a pint of milk so <laughs> the pint of milk saved them you know what I mean like big Kurt Angle likes his pint of milk and the pint of milk saved them and then um, they're discussing if it's the right guy and they're saying it has to be and Darby's sitting in their car and he, he looked like he's about to go out and then he realised like now nah, two on one I'll die. So that's basically what happens. Then in the aftermath, the rest of Sam Crow show up at the bar. The bartender guy gets rid of the two Mexicans while Sam Crow use the ambulance that um, half sick stole earlier to pay off the, the debts. That's what well, he saw it cost caused them, but not really. You know what I mean? It was Clay's fault at the same time. They use that ambulance, which is pretty funny. And then they get Jax to get medical supplies from Tara, which ends up pretty bad because Agent Coon was there, but Jax is left at this point with the supplies, and then he basically holds her hostage, <laughs> and then basically tries to rape her, and then uh, she shoots him in the stomach. Then phones Jax. Jax shows up, and then he's slobbering to him, and he just shits him because he called her a stupid biker whore, and then him and Tara basically make love beside him and there's like a montage at the end of them stitching up uh, Cameron Hayes' ass and that is it with that, that song can't get used to loving you that's it on the iPod bang bang good night what a tune but anyway that's the date for this episode 10 out of 10 it was great just mean 
You just, you just can't wait what's going to happen next. That's like, always going to be the fallout with the Mayans, the Nords, and the Sam Crew, and the IRA. I mean, could you ask for a better show? Like, what's going to happen with Coon's dead body, etc., etc. But anyway, that's the third for this episode. The Pool, brother. Until next time, 10 out of 10. Leave it down below. Use for Until next time, though. Peace.